Grimaga Breed, um, 51551 for your text. You can send us emails to radrt.e. Now, it's going to be a big GAA weekend next weekend. The replay between um, Dublin and Mayo on Saturday, and then the All Ireland. Uh, Senior hurling final um, on Sunday in Crow Park. Go away, take on Kilkenny. And um, we've one of the greats of the game, and one of the greats of Kilkenny sitting in studio with us, DJ Carey. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ray. Who's the greatest hurler that ever lived? <laughs> <laughs> well, Cool Cullen, obviously, it was, it was legendary. Um, Christy Ring before, you know, I, I never saw, I didn't ever see Christy play, then made Eddie Kerr. I suppose that one man for me would be would be Henry Shefflin, obviously it would be the person I saw. Yes, play. up close and personal. Up close and personal, yeah. 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 Uh, you know, uh, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the greatest <laughs> hurler of them all? <laughs> But you, you, you strike me. You're a very modest man. You don't very humble. You don't. You 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 don't. Um, like like you. It wouldn't bother you if I said to you, uh, Henry's great. He's the, probably the best ever. No, and uh, like uh, I, I would always say, for every sports person, whatever generation you're in, you you have your time. Now get the very best you can out of yourself in that period of time, and then you leave it there. It's a, it's as simple as that, and and you know I I was very lucky to play. I was very lucky to be from Kilkenny, three miles down the road. I was in Carlow. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being <laughs> in Carlow, but they wouldn't have been as successful. There's there's as many good players in Carlow as I ever was, yeah. but they weren't successful. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, uh, and then there's a huge amount of different um, bits and pieces to it, Ray. Uh, like if I didn't grow six inches between the age of sixteen and seventeen, I might never have played for Kilkenny. You know, so there's a, there's a lot of stuff. If I hadn't speed, I may never have played with Kilkenny. So the other you know. thing is, I was reading about this today. Is that you know that theory about the ten thousand hours? If you want to become a master of your craft, whether it be playing the piano, the violin, or uh, golf or hurling, you have to do ten thousand hours. Uh, this it's Malcolm Gladwell is the man. Yeah. You because you you started hurling at the age of four. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't even remember when I started hurling per se, but uh, I certainly got a, a helmet of Santi when I was four <laughs> so I must have been hurling <laughs> then and uh, I look 10,000 hours I'm not sure it's probably in a golf terms or in a you know a, a specialised terms but certainly you you do really need to put in the massive amount of hours you know you take someone like Johnny Pilkington or, uh, or Henry Shefton or Joe Canning or even myself when I was hitting you have to put an awful lot more time into free taking uh, and the specialised parts of the game because a lot more of it is actually natural whereas free-taking is specialised I see, yes you know, yes, so yeah. there's not or, or a golf swing or, you know, kicking a ball like free-takers you just don't become a free-taker And was that well, you, you weren't doing that stuff where you were hanging a, a tyre out of a tree a branch of a tree and trying to get the ball the slitter through it, no? No, I think that's um, What did you do with the practice? I, I, I had a chimney at home and I tried to hit it and right. if I didn't hit it I lost the ball so, and, <laughs> you know you either had to look for it for about two hours then uh, or, or you didn't hit too many more so yeah. you know like those those things you know um, so the, the game has changed re- hugely like you know at, at my fittest and strongest I was 12 stone 7 I was 5 foot 11 so I, w- I was just short of 6 foot but you know like you have to be an awful lot stronger you have to be an awful lot fitter so they're in the gym they're in the gym more but it's more seven often. nights a week now if you're not training as a team you're, you're yeah. training as an individual or you're training in the gym but like even the last time I saw you and this people have been saying it for a long time that uh, although it's it's an amateur sport it's it's professional and everything but name uh, and what do you think of Joe Brawley giving out about the GAA and saying that they're, that if it keeps going the way it's going it won't exist in 20 years time because uh, they're just milking it and they're you know that people don't have rest times a lot of guys are doing all this seven nights a week as you say and then they're expected to hold down a job or do a do a course in university or whatever what do you mm-hmm. think of what do you say? well I, I think what will happen is we won't see guys having 12, 13, 14 year careers. We will see certain, but we won't see it. Like in, my, much, in yeah. my day, the, the average was nearly 12 to 15 years of a career. Yeah. I don't think we'll see as much of that because I think what we will see is guys playing their best hurling between 19 and 26 or 7. Uh, part of that reason is they're going to university and so there's a huge amount of hurling football sport in university I think guys now are not doing their travelling 
you know, they're not doing the stuff. They're staying behind to play the game. Uh-huh. If they're gone out of the championship, they'll go off to New York for the summer. They're, they're, they're pausing their, their life, really. But their the life is paused, yes, you yeah. know. Uh, because everything is so condensed into sport, into that shorter period of time. We started training, but we're training a couple of nights a week. I remember, Ray, several times I was, I was injured for five or six weeks, hamstring injuries. No, if you have a hamstring injury, it's two. You know, if you, so there's and I played in Leinster finals six weeks after, you know, not training at all oh, for I the semi final. Yes, yes. would that wouldn't happen. It, no. it will not happen again because yeah. you won't be. You will have lost way too much fitness in that period of time because we didn't have as much done pre season. Yes, now so it's, it's, it's faster. It's, oh, it's much faster. It's you you much were playing. Stronger. You were playing in a charity <laughs> over the weekend. A charity. I was. Match. Yeah. I was for JJ Delaney. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just great. My uh, Henry was playing. Tommy Welsh. A few guys. Uh, JJ, a few guys were playing, so it, that's that's nice. But it's done, any goals? it's done at my own pace. <laughs> I, I was handed a goal. <laughs> I was for sympathy. I was handed a goal, uh, but it just look so things like that are nice to play. Yeah. They're, they're nice to you know. You know what's in the news an awful lot, mainly in in rugby, but in sport in general is concussion, mm. um, and there's loads of new research around it. New, you. you Suffered seven concussions over your, the period of your career. I probably, you? I probably suffered many more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but don't I know? But yeah, look, I suppose. And did you wear a helmet always? I no? w- always wore a helmet, yeah. but you know, the helmet doesn't save a concussion, really and truly. A, a helmet, in a lot of cases, saves a bleed or saves a bang, more so. Uh, but like, if you got an elbow in the back of the head, or a you know, or a heavy shot, or a shoulder. And, and and I'm I'm not saying they're meant. A lot of it is accidental. Guys are going full blooded for a ball. You fall back. Like the hardest pitch in the country is probably Croke Park. If you fall on it, you know. So and you could fall so back you on your head. So you go for a ball, and maybe you get a little yes, push in push the sky, and, you're, you're and you fall back on yes, your head. Yeah. Like you can get a fair bang from yes. that. So imagine then uh, the GA, the, the the ordinary club pitches around the country during the summer. They're, when we get they're like summer. muck yeah. in the <laughs> winter yeah, yeah. and they're absolutely rock hard during yeah. the summer. So a lot of that happens. But how do you stop it? I, I don't know how you stop it. My I wore a helmet. Many lads around me didn't wear helmets. You know, now everybody is wearing a helmet. Uh, and I suppose it's it's reduced to a certain amount. Mm. Um, and you were you, you had a number of aneurysms and at the time that this is two years ago you were saying that they might have been connected to the concussions yeah well there's probably no doubt that they were connected I, I think you know just because you wear a helmet in the game that doesn't you know when you're going up to catch a ball there's still hurls being you know you're pulling I, I would be pulling on a ball if I wasn't able to catch it so it's just the impact so, so, so it, it, I might be pulling on a ball and it might actually come down and, you know, as your your momentum carries through, it's coming down somewhere. Yes. You can't stop it halfway down. Your your momentum won't allow it. I could hit someone. I could get hit. You know, that happens. And over a period of time, mm. um, you could get the hardest of bangs in a game and nothing. Nothing yes, would happen. Yeah, yeah. You could get, get get the simplest of a game or a, a bang in a game. And that could be the one that hurts. Yeah, like you, you, I was just reading up on you today. You've had a sort of rough enough life, haven't you? Haven't you? <laughs> Off the field, you've had a rough, a rough enough life. Had a great life too, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in many ways. But look, that's that's life. You, I suppose, you make it what it is. Yeah. And uh, been a bit unlucky, but uh, I'm still here and doing okay and surviving yeah. and getting out of you know tough parts and yeah. Because yourself and when yourself and Sarah were together, like he, like did I read this properly that you would sort of access to five properties or like you would have had. Did you two in the Cato, one in Mount Juliet, then one in Monkstown, and then a, a chalet? Was that in Switzerland or that in was in Switzerland? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I suppose between the two of us, we we had, and uh, that was that was at a time when everything was going well and it was easy borrow, and you know, um, unfortunately, when whatever hit the fan, yes. uh, it wasn't as rosy as 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 it was. So that that was part of life, and um, you know, mistakes were made, and uh, you suffer from you don't get out of too easy um, and uh, we both are still suffering from mistakes that were made so in what way, in what way is suffering financially or well financially yeah. obviously you know there was there would have been money there at one stage um, and uh, you borrow and and you know I suppose think that things are more valuable than they are and they're, they're not really so that's that's yeah. a suffering and you know that has to be paid back in some way yeah, and you're sort of as you get older as well. I suppose you see the world differently, and your priorities are different. 
Uh, how are you now? Like, what, what, how do you sort of are you, are you working in that cleaning company still? No, no, no. Unfortunately, that went a couple of years ago. Um, no, I, 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 I'm very lucky. I, I'm involved with Carlo IT uh, as an ambassador, and uh, I look after the hurling in Carlo. Uh, I do a weekly column with the Mirror newspaper. Uh, I'm with News Talk. Yes, <laughs> and uh, I'm an ambassador for for Topaz. Right. So, from so you, day, from, you, you've met Dennis O'Brien then? Uh, yeah, I know, <laughs> and I, I'm a great admirer of Dennis O'Brien. Yeah. Uh, absolutely, and uh, you know, if if um, you know, he'd be he'd be a man that would be very high up on my. Right. Why of, why why do you admire him so much? Um, I I, I think uh, he's, he puts a huge amount back in to this country, which people mm. criticise him for not. You know, yeah, exactly, uh, he gets yeah. a lot of bad, bad flack. Um, I think he's he's a very generous man. Um, I think that uh, you know he he actually has Ireland at his heart. That's what I can see from the Ireland's outside. Ireland's best interest, you know. Yeah. And, I and yet, people, people would argue that, wouldn't they? And, and they would argue yeah. that, Ray. And I I know he's he's I'm sure he's a big enough man to argue his own point. I'm not there to argue it. For him, no. but you know, I don't expect you to either. I, I don't expect I, I, you. To. All I can say is, I would be a great admirer of his, mm. and you know that it's up to anyone else. Do you play golf with him? I've never played golf. No, no. no. But, but cause I don't were, even know does he play golf. I does, yeah. He does. I saw a picture of him recently playing golf somewhere in a father and son's tournament down in Clare or someplace like that. Right. You, you met Tiger, didn't you? I did. Because you still play golf. Uh, not not, 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 not no. too much now, Ray. Obviously, over the last uh, couple of years, I've been away a lot, so yeah. uh, I don't play an awful lot, but uh, nine holes every now and again. And I know there's health things that you don't really want to talk about, but yeah. I, how are you? Uh, how I'm doing okay. Um, I'm doing okay. Uh, you know, I, I, have to go to, I have to travel to the States a bit for treatment, uh, but then, you know, uh, I, I heard a game the other night, so... <laughs> yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So so I, I'm doing. Look, I I I still have to travel for the guts of a year, but well, yeah. he's got after that, right? You know, because you look healthy. Like, whatever you know, whatever it is, you don't want to talk about. Well, is, yeah, but yeah, and I do, and I feel great. Uh, you know, Noel McGrath uh, had testicular cancer four months ago, had an operation, and he comes on an All Ireland semi final. Yeah. So you can actually, you know, you can beat these things with with uh, with good positive. Right. Uh, so it is, well. it's, it's no, big, it's not all. Not everyone can do that, yeah. you know. So um, lifestyle can help. Lots of stuff can help. I've changed diets around hugely. I don't eat sugars uh, anymore. I don't, you know, eat, eat a lot. Of, and I don't want to say what I don't eat because <laughs> there's a whole industry out there that I don't want to be. Rosanna Davis got into big trouble uh, last week. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you know, but for me, I've I've changed a huge amount uh, around Ray and. You know, one of the biggest things that I've that I've changed is um, I'm reasonably anonymous. You know, I live in Dublin. I'm not well known for living in Dublin. I'm, you know, so I'm not missed when I'm away. Oh, I see. You know, so if I was back in Kilkenny, oh, I see. Uh, you yes. know, so yeah, yeah. Uh, so I've changed a lot because, you know, when 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 you're going through stuff, you need peace and quiet as well as yes, you know. And you that's know. what I was going to say to you, like the, the the stress of all the financial stuff and the personal stuff that can't have helped either. No, and I, I would be one of those people that would be very conscious of what you know, uh, what I would do, whether that's right or you know whether that's good or bad. So I'm not one of those that would turn around and say I don't care yes you know you borrowed money it should be paid back yes you yes. know and that would be my opinion now to whatever extent that can be uh, I would still be conscious it has to be done so so you have a lot on your mind at the moment which you, uh, you fair bit. <laughs> <laughs> do you find it hard to sleep uh, I do yeah. I do but that that is you know that's probably not a lot to do with you know it's a lot to do with everything really yeah. you know so um, you know but what can you do yeah. what can, on the other side of you know of great lifestyle too you know so um, you have to balance it it's as simple as that right they're going they're, they're going to want to know now this, <laughs> we've sort of teased them there haven't we with what what is it what is it what is it they'll be talking again because it wasn't there I remember there was a uh, over the years there were terrible stories about you weren't they the yeah, but factually yeah, incorrect stories uh, well you you always have that uh, uh, not that you always have it but no. uh, you know I'm I won't say I'm a big fish or a small fish I'm well known How would you? in this big, country yes, yeah. right you can imagine what 
better known people are on a worldwide scale, what they're putting up with on a daily yeah. basis, you know. Um, so, like, yes, of course. And I suppose one of, uh, we, I think we always talk about it or I always talk about it because it comes up. The, the presumption of people who know, think they know you. I've often heard stories about myself, you know, oh, there's nothing wrong with your man. It's all in his head. Oh, I know it's not, you know. I wouldn't have met that person in yes. 10 years, yeah. you know, but it's a presumption, you know, that, that they know something, you know. And for me, I, I would, I'm trying to be as, as private as possible in, you know, sometimes obviously in a public arena. So very few would know anything about me. Very close, my ex-wife, Christine, maybe, yes. and the two lads. But outside of that, there'd be a very, very small amount. Uh, and it kind of bugs me a bit when, when I hear that people would have said, you know, I know him or I met him or I, you know, I know this is going on. They, they wouldn't have a clue because I'd be very private. Yeah. Because um, they wrote about you that you, at one stage, that you, you'd taken your own life. I remember that. And then there the, wasn't there... Because you did have a problem with your heart. That was that was true. Yes, I, I collapsed a number of years ago. Uh, I had a I had a um, a virus in my heart called pericarditis. But any one of us could have that. Yeah, it's, and because you, you're very healthy, you know what I mean. You're yeah. a healthy lifestyle. You don't drink or you never drank. No, or? I've never drank or smoked. And and uh, it's you know, and I'm still very healthy. Yeah. I have an issue. I'm going through an issue. <laughs> but I'm still. But there's, right. there is something about that. You're, you're you know, sick, but you're healthy. That's uh, yeah, but that's. Yeah. I think that's yeah, that's the yeah. way the world is going. Yeah. Uh, I met DJ last year at a pre All Ireland final night at O'Reilly's. Is it GA Club in Drada? A gentleman in down to earth. He told us fantastic stories on the evening. Genuine GA legend. Keep well, DJ says Joe. And Larry Mooney from Blackrock called. Uh, he played golf with DJ a few years ago. He did something Rory McIlroy or Tiger Woods uh, could not do. He hit a ball two inches from a tree, took out a two iron, hit it from the back of the club onto the green. It was amazing to watch. There. <laughs> <laughs> Ask DJ well, what he thinks. Golfers are behind trees, you see. So <laughs> yeah. you can learn. You, you can learn, learn how to hit <laughs> shots from places that good golfers are necessity not. Necessity is the mother of invention. Yeah. <laughs> Ask DJ what he thinks of Joe Canning. The two own Kellys and Tony Kelly of Clare. So Joe Canning, uh, he's Galway, isn't he? Yeah. He, he, so he'll be lining out against Kilkenny on Sunday. I know you've been out of the country for a while, so you're not up to speed, but what's the talk down at Kilkenny? Or you must, still must have communication with Kilkenny in some oh, way, shape, yeah, or form. Yeah, but uh, like, as we, you know, I've, I've said it many times uh, to people, you know, Kilkenny train behind closed doors and they train behind closed doors. And I went to see them. They were training in Carton House last year and I was there and I went in and I was stopped. By security. Right. I couldn't go in and see him. Did you not say, do you not know who I am? I wouldn't. I'd never, <laughs> anyone didn't know me now. Right? I would I, never I, use, I, I, I would I, never use that card. No. But th that's how, <laughs> that's how strict that's they how are. That's how strict so it is, right. for me to know. Now, I, I'll answer that question because we won't skip over it. Yeah. Joe Canning, to me, is is phenomenal. Is is right up there, right up there with Henry Shefflin. And everyone would and DJ know Carey. how I would admire Henry Shefflin. Yes. Uh, Owen Kelly. Phenomenal. Tipperary. Tony Kelly. Absolutely. Tony Kelly is a guy that I absolutely rave about every time. I love seeing him play. It's just, it's just a dream. I don't know. I can't remember the fourth player that was mentioned there. Would you, but, would you not you do know. punditry? So um, you no, know, you covered them all there. Owen Kelly and Tony Kelly. Yeah. Uh, punditry, I, I, I do a little bit, Ray. Um, my lifestyle doesn't allow me to right. commit Okay. To something that's, you know, down the road too much. Okay. So you know. when when all of this thing that we haven't talked about, we haven't <laughs> talked about, is over, will you come in and talk to us about it? I will certainly. <laughs> you know, it's something that I, I have to keep as private yes, as possible. Okay. I think because of the skill involved, the sideline cut score in hurling, it should be worth two points. Would DJ agree with me, Tommy and Wicklow? Uh, the sideline cutting in hurling is, a, is, a, is brilliant. Is, yeah. is absolutely brilliant. Now, and... I don't think I ever hit a sideline ball over the bar in my life. Every young fella is trying to do it at the moment. It is fantastic and it's a brilliant skill if the ball goes over the bar. But I can tell you, it's so frustrating if that ball goes wide <laughs> yeah, as a yeah. forward inside. I see, but, yes, But yes. there are a it's couple a of guys of a good, like, it's a of yeah, ball, yeah. like Joe Canning, Austin Gleeson, a few of these guys are just, just brilliant yeah. at it. So you, I had the tally there. Uh, 30, uh, 35 goals these are championship goals 190 odd, uh, odd points 5 senior All-Irelands was it 2 was that All-Ireland championship medals with uh, with Gorn? no, no they, uh, were, they were Cumbria County championships with Gorn. Yeah. Gorn. sorry yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and 9 All-Stars unfortunately we didn't win a club All-Ireland right but, okay you know 
Well, listen, you're, you're, you're looking and sounding good, so, uh, but, you know, I wish you well. And you say a year. So, Please God, within, so, within another so, so, year, yeah. Uh, DJ yeah, Kerry, thank you very much. Thank you, DJ. Thank you. The Ray Darcy Show on RTE Radio 1.